Hey guys, so finally we have Cyanide Mod 13 available for Galaxy S3. This is i9300, the international variant uh, with the Exynos uh, 4412 chipset. So, as you can see here, it is up and running. And the good thing is that I also flashed uh, G apps um, and they also seem to seem to work pretty fine. So um, I'll make a separate video for its uh, tutorial link will be down below in the description box. So uh, let's see here First of all, I'm just going to show you that this is indeed Android Marshmallow this is 6.0.1. Yes 6.0.1 marshmallow a little bit newer version and also, of course, this is Cyanogen Mod 13, uh, which means, of course, we will get awesome stuff like Team Engine and all that. Let's see here. Okay, so um, I was using this phone, I mean this uh, ROM on my phone for about two days now. Um, two days, so uh, it seemed to work pretty fine. Never saw any... Uh, crashing in the apps or anything like that uh, good thing is that every basic stuff works fine so if I go into camera of course we get this new permissions with marshmallow I'm just gonna click next and you can see that camera is working fine this is the old Google camera app so I'm pretty sure that you can update it using the Play Store um, to get the latest ones you can see here camera is working fine Let's see here if we capture a photo. Let's see. As you can see, pretty nice. Let's see here, video. Okay, it is recording. Let's see here if we can watch this video. So you can see everything is working fine when it comes to camera, um, all other basic stuff like Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, it's all working. Let's see here if we connect to a Wi-Fi connection pretty quickly. Um, just give me a second. Oops, it's kind of slippery. I already messed up my S3 pretty badly, you can see here, um, I did a drop test of uh, the Galaxy S series phone, so you can see here it's pretty, it's messed up pretty badly, but I'm um, lucky that it's working fine so that I can make some um, videos for you guys. I mean, I really want this to work. Okay, I entered my password. And it says obtaining IP address. So uh, you can see if I scroll here and there, this is the Cyanogen Mod 13 launcher. Um, we get all these letters. So you can also choose uh, which app you want to open up using these letters. Like going to open up C, C for camera, calculator, calendar, and all that. It's a very nice way um, to interact with apps, open them pretty easily. And uh, of course, if you hold down the screen, you will get this options, settings, widget, and wallpaper. You can swipe up to uh, see how you can hide search bar, icon labels. You can also hide them, scroll wallpaper. Um, also, we have some other drawer, drawer setting, customization. You can also change the uh, sections, how many apps you have, drawer color to dark to light. And also you can have the large icons enabled. You can also some protect some of the apps. So you can see now we get a little bit more um, larger icons, which I think pretty nice. So it does have its own default file manager, uh, signage and mod file manager. So you don't need to download any. But you don't have to download any file manager from the Play Store. So yeah, if you guys want to see how to install this. Uh, please check out the tutorial video. It's working pretty fine, and uh, uh, and of course it's a nightly. You might see some bugs if you install a lot of apps. And you can see there is a update available for this nightly. So yeah, when you install a version, you can also um, check for updates weekly, and you can update uh, them right through your phone uh, without wiping data. So yeah. 
um, with each update you will move closer to the stable version that is pretty nice so you can hold this key here this home button to check out multitasking wow I mean S3 is a uh, three years three year old phone um, uh, almost 3.5 something uh, maybe maybe in 2016 it, it will have like four years of age but it's pretty funny you know we have the, la the latest version on this phone and it's running really fine I mean if we compare it to let's see here if we compare it to the iPhone 4s um, I mean if we do iOS 9.2 on the iPhone 4s it, it was probably going to start lag uh, it will start lag uh, lagging and all that so you know my brother has this iPhone 4s and he is still using it on the um, 8 point something so but this is the beauty of Android so you can see here very nice multitasking and you can also close all the apps by clicking this key here so let's see here what else we can check um, Bluetooth okay so let me just turn on the Bluetooth here one of my other phones um, let's see here more settings GTI 9300 is a visible okay okay so it's catching my Samsung Galaxy S6 you can see Bluetooth is also working fine also it's very stable in terms of battery so um, every other uh, normal thing is working fine the the things that you need so um, of course if you take a look at this uh, quick settings there you can also swipe to the right to the, to the left here to see more options and of course you have this option here to edit these tiles uh, that is also pretty nice you can also just delete a tile if you want to so pretty nice way to quickly edit these and also if I go into main settings this ROM comes uh, this ROM comes with uh, its own awesome things uh, first of all we got display and light uh, where you can enable this uh, double tap to sleep if you double tap to the status here status bar your device will go into sleep and wake up on plug you can also disable that expanded desktop battery light you can also change the color of your light for example you can change it from red to let's see here pink it is really really nice I mean what is like really nice feature here I love it uh, you can have like a certain uh, color for different notifications pretty awesome uh, then we have the theme engine as you can see I don't have any theme at the moment it will ask me to sign in to my Play Store account uh, but I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of themes available for CM13 that you can download and apply I might make a separate video of uh, you know top 5 CM13 themes so yeah stay tuned for that then we have some option related to notification uh, pop-up notification you know when you are doing something and you get a message and it just pops up so you can disable that if you hate it um, then also we got the lock screen options and then we have some options related to buttons um, you can uh, set up some custom action like long press home button and all that you can see it is switched to recent app switcher you can have it to launch camera let's say here as you can see it works very fine so you can kinda see here uh, you get this really nice shortcut way to open up camera that will save your time uh, and then also you can see we got some things related to battery we can also enable the battery saver there uh, from the top uh, we get almost all 6.0 uh, 6.0 marshmallow 6.0.1 marshmallow features let's see here if we hold this setting icon okay so it doesn't work yeah I don't I don't see any um, the the new option we get like system tuner but I think it's enabled by default but I can't see here uh, but anyways storage and USB so we have this new marshmallow style 
um, stop here, clicking on cache data, it will say this will clear cache data for all apps. You can do that. And you can also see here, if you click on explore, it kind of gives you a file manager type of thing where you can see what's, uh, is, what is stored on your uh, internal memory. So yeah, that is that. This is the Cyanogen Mod 13 for Samsung Galaxy S3. So definitely, if you have an S3, uh, if you want to taste marshmallow, then uh, give this uh, give this ROM a try. Uh, check out my video tutorial down below in the decision box that will help you flashing this awesome ROM. And if you have any questions, comment below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.